I think just based on vehicle. Like, I, I think that the ultimate ratio of, say, how many super useful humans in our Fremont factory that are doing basically this task, which is taking cells uh, off the end of the line and placing them in a shipping container. And um, yeah, we actually have quite a few of these cruising around our offices in, in vision, which should be done by end of this year or early next. Uh, before and, and then we'll move into a limited production next year of Optimus. L limited production for use in our factories, where we'll test out the product, kind of, you know, uh, you know, as I say, sort of eat our own dog food or whatever the electronic equivalent of that is. Um, so, uh, but I, I think like next year, uh, my prediction is next year we'll have over a th over a thousand, maybe a few thousand Optimus robots working at Tesla. So, um, and you know, a lot of people were saying the Cybertruck is like fake, it's never going to come out, um, you know, and uh, now we're shipping uh, a lot of Cybertrucks. We, we hit a, a weekly uh, record of 
Um, yeah. And of course, uh, Mono Eye became the best selling vehicle globally. And this, this is something that we predicted. And that 2023, it would be the biggest in uh, unit volume, and it was. Um, and I, again, this year, it will be the best-selling car on earth. So, yeah. obviously, we've got some new new products that we're working on. Uh, Maybe at first may think, oh, it's not going to be that amazing, but just wait. It will be. So, uh, yeah, and, and Tesla's obviously way more than a car company. Um, we've, you know, we, we, we do a lot of software at Tesla. You know, about, I don't know. as much a software company as it is a hardware company. This is a very big deal because um, car companies are not